and Luca Parmesano's helmet will be an issue for continuing the spacewalk. So, Luca, we'll have head you head back it. to the airlock. Chris, we'll get a plan for you to uh, clean things up here and then join him here in a minute. And you can see some of the water floating away that had built up inside of Luca's helmet. Uh, helmet off and Luca safely back inside. And last winter during an EVA, water accumulated in the helmet of one of the crew and they had to call off the EVA early and bring him back in and it turned out to be a pretty near thing. After the first incident with water in the helmet, we decided to try to find a cheap, inexpensive way to utilize Safer, safer for a rescue. Uh, from safer is basically a, a jetpack that astronauts use. Safer uh, stands for Simplified Aid for EVA Rescue. Basically, uh, the crew on board uh, Space Station will wear this every time they go outside. Uh, this is their, their safety feature that they're able to deploy and help themselves get back to Space Station safely. So we did a little thinking about how we might be able to come up with some approach to remotely operate a jetpack and bring them back without them having to pilot themselves. So we actually started looking around at some easily available cots off the shelf, tablets and things like that that we were able to uh, put together an architecture that we thought would work. We used an Xbox controller uh, which, which already has all the capabilities to connect to a Windows computer. So. There wasn't many issues there. Uh, we had to use some, some very simple software that's also available uh, freely to uh, convert the uh, joystick commands into commands we could use in our software. We found a way to, to use an essentially a laptop or a tablet to bring him in remotely. And it then opens up some game-changing ideas because if we can do this kind of technology, then we can again, perhaps fly without an astronaut, and that would provide a space mule kind of capability that would allow us to haul cargo to an EVA location. I think right now we're going to continue with our current uh, configuration. Uh, right now we're trying to understand the dynamics and how to fly the actual software. I think looking forward, uh, we're going to try to incorporate a human factor. We're going to have maybe a mannequin or a dummy on this and we'll try to interface with those kind of factors. Yes, yeah, so we're going to continue testing. Uh, we want, hopefully someone will we we'll want to utilize this new technology that we have. It's relatively inexpensive, and we can bring it to fruition. That if we can remotely pilot a jetpack with the astronaut on it, then we can also remotely pilot it without him on it. Imagine a take me home button, where if an astronaut got in trouble, they could hit the take me home button, and the jetpack would fly them home. Or alternatively, fly to another designated location. Uh, the combination of remote piloting and autonomy provides kind of a powerful combination of, of approaches to provide for astronaut safety.